What is up, guys? How's it going? So, I t decided to take a little ride up to the mountains today. Um, it was kind of nice, pretty nice weather. Kind of 60 degrees and sunny in the middle of winter, so I figured why not. And, also, my exhaust came in. Hell yeah. It's a uh, Dan Moto. Dan Moto, I got it off of eBay. It was 150 shipped. So, um, it was, I got a good deal on it. Like, uh, and, I mean, man, it sounds mean. Um, it's a little loud, but it's not like, it, it might be too loud. Because that's the thing I read before I bought it, is people were saying they, uh, they also make silencers for it. Um, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get a silencer. I was thinking about it, like, when I, before I even put it on. Um, just kind of ordering it just in case, but, uh. I don't know. I just kind of did this ride all today, and it it did well. Like, it wasn't too loud. It, like, I mean, it's loud. Like, you can notice it. I'll turn it on for you guys in a minute. But uh, like it it really it really wasn't too bad. Yeah. So yeah. Woo. Just did like that little mountain run up this road, and uh, now I'm about to head back down into a little town down the mountain, get something to eat, and probably head home. It's getting late. But, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and start it up for you guys. And probably the video really even won't do it justice, but what the hell. So, yeah, it's got, like, a deeper rumble. And it's just, it sounds good. And going through the mountains with that going, it's just, it's crazy. I, I was wondering how long you could hear that for because... I was getting it, and you could probably hear that for a while, but uh, hell yeah, so I'm about to, about to ride in, go get something to eat, oh. so uh, I ordered it like three weeks ago, and I'll, I'll do a proper review of this uh, exhaust, because I haven't really seen any other than a Rider's Life did a review of it, you know, but uh, other than that, I haven't seen, like listen, Oh, it just sounds so good. But yeah, I haven't seen anybody do a, like a proper good review about it. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna get I'm gonna get used to it a little bit and just see how I like it. Uh, since today is like my first day actually having it on, so I gotta see how it goes. Um, hopefully, hopefully uh, this is recording, or as in, hopefully the sound's being captured because. I got a Bluetooth set for with my roommate because he got that Harley, you know. So we got like communicators, and I had to readjust like all my mic and all that stuff. So hopefully this is actually getting picked up. I'd be very sad if it didn't. I'm not really going to hit these corners too hard because I'm I'm going to try to focus on talking to you guys. But uh, and also it rained last night, so I don't want to go through and hit a wet patch. I already did that once today so and it, it kind of sketched me out a little bit so I'm just going to kind of cruise down plus downhill corners are my absolute most hated thing so anyway back to the exhaust um the stand moto and like I said I'm going to do a a uh, proper review of it later but so I bought it from the website or from their eBay store and they said they shipped it out like the day like the day of like strap came undone um, they shipped it out like the day I ordered it so I was, I was very pleased with their service now UPS though is the one who was delivering it and they took forever to do it like it got delayed three times and it came from Nevada so for some reason they shipped it up to Chicago and then from Chicago they shipped it it came down to my house you know but it took them three weeks it took it a week to go from Nevada to Chicago. And then from Chicago, they had bad weather, like it was cold, and it was like super cold, and it froze the roads over. So they had to uh, give it another week, or like five days, for it to, like for them to deliver again. So it basically, and they delayed it about three times, I wanna say. They delayed it about three times 
before it actually showed up. And then last night was its delivery date. So I went down to my house because that's where I had it delivered. So I could, because uh, I had to, you know, saws all the, uh, the old exhaust off. And I went down to my house last night and I was hoping it would show up like rather quick because they said it was out for delivery. But it didn't show up till nine o'clock at night. And I had a party to get to at like five o'clock, but I didn't, like this is all wet and gravel. Yeah. Why is all this gravel? What the fuck? There's normally never gravel on this road. Oh well. One of the things that worried me before, ooh, let's take this slip right there a little bit. Uh, before I, uh, before I even got it, was people were saying that I'm gonna have to remap my car, like I'm gonna have to rejet it and you know throw a new air filter on and all that stuff. And that was getting me worried because I really didn't want to make it into a big project. Oh, that's all gravel. And I didn't really want to make it like a big project out of this. I just kind of wanted to have a slip on to throw on. And I didn't have a lot of money. So I just kind of went with this one and I kind of just jumped into it. Holy shit, this is all gravel. There must have been a, oh, this is probably ice or it's actually probably salt from the, uh, so the road zone ice over. It's probably what it is, but it's still slippery. It's like wet and gravelly and downhill corners. It's like my worst nightmare. See, coming up, it wasn't this bad. Like, there's little patches, but it wasn't this bad. This is pretty, this is pretty shit. It's good corners, though. It's a good road. This is like our summer road, but it was like 60 degrees, so, uh, I decided, hell, why not, you know, go for a ride. So anyway, last night, I went to that party, and it was like kind of like a graduation party for like all my friends who graduated diesel school with me, because as you guys know, I'm done. I'm officially graduated, and uh, now it's time to look for a job. And uh, so we went there last night, and we're playing beer pong. We're all really drunk. Uh, we're all like of age to drink, like 21, uh, 21 to like 28 was like the oldest guy, and uh, but there's one guy who was 20 years old, so he um, and he had to work at 7 a.m., so he wasn't drinking. He was just kind of there chilling, and we started off shooting these like bottle rockets, and when we were shooting these bottle rockets, we heard like this lady call out, like one of his neighbors like called out and told us to like shut up or stop or something like that, you know? And we we really didn't pay any attention to it. We were just kind of like, fuck it. And he had this big, big bottle rocket, like big one. And, or not bottle rocket, like firework. It was like one of those ones that they use in like firework shows, you know, like huge firework. And he's like, well, we can't set this off here. So we have to go to another neighborhood. And since the other guy wasn't drinking, we're like, hey, you can just go ahead and drive. So I guess the lady told, said she was calling the cops, but we didn't really hear it because we were too busy shooting off fireworks. And as we're leaving the neighborhood, there's two people up in the front of the truck and there's four of us in the back. And I was in the back, you know? So as we're leaving the neighborhood, I see a cop and I'm like, oh shit. And he's, he's like cruising with his lights off like towards my buddy's house, you know? So he's like, we're like, oh shit, you know? Like, I was a cop, cop guys. So we, we had to like lay down in the back, you know? And, and sure enough, I guess he saw us or something, but he flipped an immediate Yui. And everyone's just like, hey man, you just stay down, stay down, you know, don't look. So we're like laying in the bed of this truck and we didn't even make it out of his neighborhood and he turns on his lights. Like he turns on his, uh, his little, flashy blue lights on top and he pulls us over and I mean he was really cool though and there's actually two of them he was really cool though he was just wanting to make sure that we're not shooting guns and so when we told him it was bottle rockets and stuff like he didn't really care he was just like all right and thankfully the driver the, the guy who's 20 years old wasn't drinking because we were trying to get him to drink the whole night but uh thankfully he wouldn't he wasn't drinking because that would have ended 
very badly. If he was, if he would have drank, like, he would have gone to jail for sure. And we would have probably either got a big ticket or had to walk back to his house, which wasn't far, but still, it would have sucked for Max, which is the guy who's 20 years old. So, but they, they kind of just let us go. They're just like, all right, well, you guys have a fun night. We told them we were going to shoot more fireworks. We we're, were just doing it in the next neighborhood over so we don't uh, wake any neighbors. Um, and they're like, all right, we'll just have a good night. You know, stay safe. And But like the like I said, that situation could have gotten a whole lot worse if, uh, if, that, if that one guy drank. Because that would have been bad. That's so nice. I, I'm so used to this bike being like quiet and basically only getting a noise out of it when you really get on it, you know? And now it's just like, oh, it sounds beautiful. It sounds a little like a dirt bike, but it's like a mean dirt bike. And that's the thing. If you want a cheap, good exhaust, and I mean, I know I've only had it for a day, but the reviews I've read, they said it's all good, like it was good exhaust. I'm telling you, and you, you know, you want to put, like, give your bike a different sound. Um, I'll put the link in the description below, but this is a good exhaust to have. It's 150, and it is, it, it's great. Like, mounting it was a breeze. All I did was cut off the old exhaust, unbolt everything, then bolt the new one on, and basically, like, just, like, put the mid-pipe on, and, and then just get it. Alrighty guys, I'm here, and it looks like they are open, so I will uh, catch you guys later. Have a good day.